Before you get too carried away with all the Apple Watch hype leading up to its launch in April, there are a few things investors need to know about this latest Apple product. Here to fill us in is Market Watch's Jennifer Booten. Jennifer, thanks so much for being with us. So what does Apple have in the works leading up to the launch? Sure. So we have a big event next week, and that's where they're kind of going to show the final touches of the watch, mm-hmm. give their final sales pitch. Just it's something for investors to remember is that we saw the watch already. We right. saw it in September in kind of a substantial manner, which is not like Apple to do something like that, to tease it like that. A but, soft uh, launch, as it were. <laughs> pretty much, right. And so now we have the, kind of the finished product coming out mm-hmm. where we'll kind of get the details on the final pricing because they're coming out with three different versions from a low tier to a high tier. Um, and just what the final features will look like. Very interesting, but you're here to make sure everyone keeps their wits about them. And so one of the things worth keeping in mind, you say, is that the iPhone will always have dominance. Of course, and at least for the long foreseeable future. At least for the, yeah. Because right now it's almost 70% of their revenue share. And and as you get so excited about what's happening with the watch, it's just important to remember that they sold 74.5 million of those phones last year. The iPhone 6 continues to be their most popular product right now in terms of growth and it's something that is analysts want to make sure that they know that that's going to continue to be a main growth driver even if watch sales do exceed expectations right and important to remember there are some apple watch haters out there some powerful ones namely the swiss high-end watchmakers who are going to fight tooth and nail against apple watch of course and it's funny that the swiss watchmakers at first weren't making a big deal about it they thought it was a different category but actually over the last six months you really seen them start to kind of jump at Apple in terms of what they're creating their own smartwatches and a number of them actually um, announced something that would be a kind of look traditional watch in a sense but that would it would connect with an app mm. and so it would keep track kind of like a Fitbit would keep track of your movements right and then LG I think uh, this week in Barcelona at a conference just unveiled their own watch that would have its own 4G connectivity which is interesting well it's interesting that you mentioned the Fitbit connection because some of these sort of exercise components or the health components are not making it into the final version right Right, and that's according to a report from our colleagues. Um, and it seems that some of the sensors that maybe would have monitored your health or your stress or certain things might not have made it onto this version. Of course, we don't quite know no, that for, for sure, sure. Mm-hmm. but that seems to be the case. And analysts have said that it's not totally shocking because if the technology wasn't quite there or would have taken up too much battery life, Apple wouldn't have launched it unless it was absolutely ready. Mm-hmm. But we can probably expect to see that in future Apple Watches. All right, we know for sure. Whatever happens, it will be exciting. But- but everyone <laughs> stay seated. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Jennifer, you. for that.